Alright, now, uh, this isn't a fucking serious video, really, just, why the fuck is it that every year we lose a fucking superstar in the, the opening game? Last year we lost Eric Berry the whole year, this time times Keon O'Neal, and we still don't know what's fucking going on with Freeman, and, you know, this is why probably... The NBA is so fucking personable because, I don't know, man. These fucking football players are risking their lives out there every single game. And these fucking basketball players get a finger to the face and they're fucking complaining like it's the fucking end of the world. And you, we already know about my opinions on hockey. I'm fucking Canadian. I think it's the fucking greatest sport ever. It's a great combo both. You get the physicality, you get the fucking toughness, the fighting. But you also don't get all kinds of fucking injuries all the time like the NFL does. And, you know, baseball, you've always got fucking little injuries. and But baseball's not doesn't have a physical aspect, you know. And with football, I mean, last year we lost, what was it, Barry Robinson... David Johnson, uh, Marshall Yonda, I think, all in week one. Week one. And then after that, we still fucking lost Odell, Aaron Rodgers, Dalvin. Oh, Dalvin Cook was week two or three. Yeah, basically, you're fucking losing guys everywhere. You're losing all your guys. It's absolute. It's just like, man, why can't it just be like fucking mad and turn the injuries off, you know? Completely fucks the season, but, you know, once again, that's why hockey's so fucking great. Because you get the personalities, you get the guy, you know, guys who are known for certain things. Like, you know, in basketball, you've got, you know, fucking Chef Curry with the threes, LeBron driving. You know, you've got all the shit. And then you've got, in hockey, you've got like, you know, McDavid's fast as fuck. Everyone knows that. When you think of McDavid, you think of, like, Stamkos, you think of one-timer. Same thing with Ovechkin. Think of Crosby, you think winner, fucking smart. You know, like, you got the personality kind of, in, and you got the popular players and shit, but you also get the physical, big fucking hits, bigger hits than NFL because you're on skates, so you can go absolutely fucking flying out there. And, I mean, the NFL, you're just losing guys left and right. I mean, that... That whole game was pretty much flags and injuries, you know. Out like, for Atlanta, you saw first you saw Neil go down once, then you saw Trufant go down, then you saw Dion Jones go down, then you saw Neil again, then you saw Freeman, then you saw Tack, you saw Tack McKinley too, and Grady Jarrett all go down. It's, it's fucked, man. And you know it's a great fucking sport, but like, come on, you gotta fucking figure something out here. Hockey, you know, I th I'd say wear fucking shin pads or some shit in the NFL. I mean, you might as well. What's the problem with that? I mean, we're talking about all these hits to the head and shit. Yeah, that's bad, but it's the ACLs that are fucked. If you can, f if you can solve an ACL injury in the NFL, make it so that there's not as many ACL injuries. That's way more important to me than, cause. You're going to get hit in the head no matter fucking what. You're going to get concussions in any sport, professional sport. So why don't you just, you know, focus on, you know, like, like that's, you know, I'm trying to fucking put this into words, but you're going to be fucked. You're going to get fucked up in football no matter what in the head. Why don't we solve these ACL injuries so that you're not fucking gone for the whole season you know, one guy every game is gone for the season, pretty much.